Good evening, minions, vampires, and werewolves. I hope everyone is doing well tonight. Thank you for joining us for episode 4 of the Chronicles of Dark Wolf Manor. I am Queen Belladonna, and this is Uncle Milton. Yes, Queen Belladonna. Tonight we will watch young Stephanie awake after spending a night prowling the woods with Uncle Jebediah. Yes, indeed, Uncle Milton. She does awaken to find herself in a situation that is interesting indeed. Would you do us the honor of introducing tonight's episode? Yes, my queen. Tonight we will watch episode four, scene one of the Chronicles of Dark Wolf Manor. What a bloody nightmare. Ah, I, I taste blood. Oh, I must have bit my lip last night. a nightmare, was it? It... it was real! Yes. Yes, Stephanie, it was real. Don't worry about those teeth. It's still a full moon out. As soon as it goes down and the sun comes up completely, those will go away. Listen, as you get older, you'll remember more about those nights. I still have some things that I want to tell you about us and who you are. You get dressed and come see me in the study. You're okay. You're okay. William. I'm... I'm on my way to talk to Uncle Jebediah. I... I don't remember much of what happened last night, but... I think... I think I may have killed someone. No, Stephanie, I'm, I'm sure you didn't. And... and Uncle Jebediah, did... did he kill someone? Well, now that's a different story completely. You need to understand, Uncle Jebediah doesn't require a full moon to kill. Stephanie, we're a family. Do you understand what I mean when I say that? Yes, William. I... I believe I do understand. Is that why Father left for England? Because he did not want to be a part of our... Family. Yes, actually, that is the reason. 
William, you're my brother. Have you... Have you ever killed anyone? Stephanie, you need to go and see Uncle Jebediah now. I'm sure he's waiting on you. And besides, Aunt Omberly leaves for Hamburg today, and I'm her ride to the airport. I'm beginning to think that I would rather move to Hamburg myself. Hmm. As great aunt is on her way to Hamburg. We find young Stephanie confused about her family and her lineage. Speaking of confused, where is our confused cousin Wolfington? Cousin Wolfington is out hunting rabbits for our dinner potluck stew. I told him to return for the show, but you know how Cousin Wolfington is when he is on the hunt. Yes, my queen. Would you like me to go get him? I will slap his fat ears and drag him back here. There will be no slapping of fat little ears, Uncle Milton. Why is it the two of you cannot get along? Because I am me, and he is he. Well, I am good looking and a hit, while well, he is full of. Oh, our love's getting better with time. Your kisses are sweet as great wine. Uncle Milton, introduce Act Two while I go find Cousin Wolfington. Yes, my queen. Here is scene two of tonight's show, where young Stephanie talks with her half-sister, Isabel, as they meet in the hall of the manor. Oh, hello, sister dear. How are you this morning? I'm... I'm, I'm doing well. Sister, thank you, but, but Uncle Jebediah wishes to speak to me. <laughs> yes, Stephanie, I'm sure he will answer all the questions you must have. Oh, come, I'll go with you. Excuse me, <laughs> I have to see my father. I don't have time to knock. Father, what are you going to do with Stephen? Stephen Sinclair. Listen, Alicia, he doesn't leave me much choice. He doesn't listen. Father, you know I'm not in love with him. He's just my little plaything. As soon as I'm done with him, I'll just get rid of him. Alicia, he's already seen too much. I can't just let him walk off. Maybe, maybe he can work for us. Doing what? Um, he'd probably make a good snitch. For us? Yeah, think about it. He would probably go straight to Sergeant Conrad and turn me in. Oh, 
speaking of Sergeant Conrad, he just drove up the driveway. Alicia, go down, keep him company, send Stephanie in and tell Mr. Asher I need to speak to him. And I'll be down in a little bit to visit with the sergeant. Yes, Father. Father will see you now. Don't worry, dear sister. It's a family thing. Good morning, Uncle Jebediah. I trust you slept well. Yes, Isabel, and yourself. <laughs> yes. Well, as you well know, it was a full moon last night, so it was very productive. I'm still full. That brings me to a subject that I need to address to Stephanie. Stephanie, I know you may be under the impression that we are werewolves. See, where we come from, well, we're a bit different. Different. Different? Uncle, I am so confused. Isabel, I'm, I'm so frustrated. Who am I? Who are we? May I answer this, Uncle? Please. You see, where we come from, at the age of 16 years old, we become, or should I say develop. Well, you see, our uncle is not just a baron. Why, he's a king. And that is why there are so many who show him much respect. My leadership was overthrown. Mm -hmm. That's when I brought the family, your father, all of our family to Dark Wolf Manor because their lives too were in jeopardy. You see, William and I came to live with our uncle. You see, our father, he couldn't cope with our mother's death. She was killed in the conflict. We are somewhat different here, but we're normal where we come from. Yes, and well, where our uncle is from, he is a wanted man. And that is why we have to keep the secret of the Dark Wolf Manor. See, we are not from here. We are from up there. From a planet called Zars, we are Zaronians. Yes, and our uncle is the rightful king of Zar and the baron of Dark Wolf Manor. My king. My niece. This. this explains everything. This must be why. The Baroness Alicia has the attitude that she has. She's... She's a princess.
Inspector! I'm Alicia Van Kettner. I'll be keeping you company until my father is able to see you. He's a busy man. Mr. Asher, father would like to speak with you in the upstairs study. Right away, Baroness. Right this way to the drawing room. Yes, Master Jebediah, you wish to see me, sir? Yes, Mr. Asher, sit down. Very good. Listen, I need you and Big Mo to go down and pick up Jojo at the pawn shop. He owes me $60,000, way overdue, he's been warned. Also, while you're at it, go down to the basement. Bring Mr. Sinclair up when you bring him up and to make sure that uh, I get the sergeant going first. Right away, sir. Yeah. So, Baroness, what exactly is uh, a Baroness? Oh, Sergeant, I don't worry about small details like that. Can I get you a drink? Oh, no, thank you. I'm I'm on duty. However, a couple days ago I was in here and I talked to your father and asked him if he had any buttermilk. You don't know if he's got any yet, do you? Buttermilk? Um, I don't know for sure. I can check. Sir Edward would know. Sir Edward! Come here, please! Sir Edward knows everything about the kitchen. Yes, Baroness Alicia. Sir Edward, um, Sergeant Conrad here would like some buttermilk. Do you know if we have any? Buttermilk? No. We don't have any buttermilk. There's a winery, you know. Sir Edward, uh, what exactly is your job around here? I'm, I'm Sergeant Conrad, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yes, uh, I take care of Sebastian. Sebastian? Sebastian? Who is Sebastian? Sebastian is our very large dog. Sebastian's our dog. And Sir Edward is his trainer, uh, his handler, yes. Um, he's also our chef. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. ma'am, I am. Um, I go into the kitchen and I chef around. Yeah. Just chefs around. So why don't you go chef around? Sir Edward, go chef around. Yes, Baroness, as yeah. you wish. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you, Sergeant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, how many people actually live in this house? I'm gonna go see what's keeping my father. He should be with you shortly. Man, I really wish I had some buttermilk. I'm gonna have to start bringing my own. Father, will you please go talk to Sergeant Conrad? That man is so odd. Odd. One might say weird. Yes, dear. I'll go talk to him. Thank you. Yeah, uh, Sergeant. Uh... Hey, Jebediah. Can I call you Jeb? Anyway, uh, I just want to ask you a few more questions, if you don't mind. No, Sergeant, I don't mind. Uh, we don't have anything to hide. Well, it seems we found some footprints out by the, where the lady was killed. The thing is, it's going to sound crazy, and I can't believe I'm saying this, but... They look like wolf or, or dog prints. Well, Sergeant, sounds like the mystery solved. She got out in the north woods and got killed by a wolf or wolves. Yeah, you might think that, but these prints were huge. Well, sounds like she got killed by a big wolf. At any rate, um, Sergeant, I'm a very busy man today, so uh, that's 
Paul. I don't have time for more questions, but uh, keep us informed. Okay, I will. Next time, could you make sure you have some buttermilk? I'm fighting ulcers really bad. Uh, <clears throat> Sir Edward, come in here. Listen, uh, next time you go to the store, would you get some uh, buttermilk? Buttermilk? Mm. Really? He can't be serious. Is he coming back? Oh yeah, he'll be back. He's a nut. I feel really bad for Jojo. How about you? Uncle Milton. I would just hate to be called Jojo. <laughs> <laughs> I see you've finally found Cousin Wolfington. Yes, he was treed by a rabid squirrel. <laughs> well, as usual, I haven't a clue as to what you've said, but you missed a great show tonight. Well, at least he was here to see what happens to Jojo. And now, all the family is here. Let's watch the conclusion of tonight's episode. Master Jebediah, yes. Big Mo has brought in Jojo. Yes, Mr. Asher, tell Big Mo to bring him in. Mo! Mr. Jebediah, what's going on, man? Hey, man, not much. How are you doing? You know, I'm just trying to stay alive. Yeah, speaking of that, Jojo, you owe me some money. Money, uh, <laughs> money, uh, I was, I was uh, at the horse races. Uh, good horse, made a bet. Horse just wasn't quite as fast enough as I thought he was going to be. You know how it is, man. Mm -hmm. Make it. Well, you have to know how it is, and Jojo, I can't uh, let you get away with $60,000. Uh, I mean, I would lose respect with the people if I let you get away with that. Do you have my money? $60,000 really that much to you, Mr. Jebediah? Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, but the, the fact is, and the point is, is that you owe it to me, and if you don't pay me back, Somebody else will think they can slip by, and then somebody else, and uh, that's not going to work, Joe Joe. So I take it you don't have my money. Listen, nothing personal. Big Mo, kill him. Oh. Hey, oh, no, 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 what, what was that, Jojo? You ain't got the guts to do it yourself. You're smiling? Do you think this is a game? No, but... <sighs> Big Mo, let me have the gun, please. Big Mo, <clears throat> do you think that I would uh, kill Mr. Jojo here? Oh, yeah. You'll kill him. Mr. Asher, what do you think? Jojo... You are a dead man. No, you don't. I think it's standard operating procedure from here on out. Bye-bye, Jojo.
Mo, take the trash out. I'll take care of it. Mr. Asher, sir. Be sure and clean that couch tomorrow. Very good, sir. You look as if you've seen a ghost. <laughs> I don't feel well. <laughs> I'm gonna be sick. Now, oh, Bear, Bear, <laughs> please, I have information. Don't kill me. I have information, please. What kind of information? It's about your daughter, Alicia. Please don't kill me. I have a secret you're going to want to know about. I beg you. This. You're going to want to know. Please, I beg you. It better be good. Okay. We all knew great uncle Jebediah had a dangerous side, but he also has a sense of humor. What did you think about the show, boys? Well, this is just weird. <sighs> Cousin Wolfington, get off Uncle Milton's lap. You go hunt. It is still three hours till dawn. You are such a scaredy wolf. Can we stop now? I need a hot bath. I think I have fleas. Thank you, peeps, for joining us for tonight's episode. Please join us next week for another episode of the Chronicles of Dark Wolf Manor. Say goodnight, family. Good night, family.